Before we get started, shout out to my guy Slick Too Heavy for Facts. the shirt. Follow him on Instagram, S L I C K K K, the number two heavy, H E A V Y. That's your guy. That's, That's my your guy. guy too. Shout out to Slick, man. I'm mad I don't have no heavy stuff on right now, but shout out to my man, Ma, Go Season, man. Holla at them too. We all went to school together. Everybody trying to do their thing in the clothing line. Uh, definitely, yo. So we got my, my, yo, my guy Tunnel Vision is in the building. Yo, so, um, you just you just came on a scene well in the city for real. For yeah, real. I don't want to say just came on the scene because you've been doing your thing for a minute. Uh, yeah. So it's funny because you told me you wanted to host. Bro, it's crazy how I moved. Yeah, like so I I went to school in Western Maryland for real, Mount Saint Mary. So like small little PWI. So I mean you know how it is like the black community was tight, whatever, whatever. So I was hosting out there. Like for me, I hosted BSU fashion show, little open mics and stuff like that. And people always like, yo, Cash, you, you can host, yo, you should host, you should host. But like, yeah, bro, like you definitely really gave me the start. Like, just like Jay, I'm trying, I'm trying to host, I'm trying to host. Like, you feel me? So yeah, bro, it's really as fast as everything been moving. I really only been in the city really hosting for like probably like four or five months. Uh, that's lit, bro. So let's rewind real quick, cause. Even like you talking to you today, you was like you a manager. I didn't even know that shit. Yeah, like, crazy. What the right? fuck? Like, when did you even start that shit? Yeah, bro. So like, so I manage. Um, I have a few artists for real. Two of the more notable. Um, I manage DJ Ratchet, real mm -hmm. popular in the DMV, real popular in DC. Fat Troll DJ. You feel me? Shout out to my slutty boy guy. Shout out to Troll and them. Um, and then I manage DJ Durant. So Peso DJ, Davo DJ, whatever. Um, and so bro, I got into it probably like three, four years ago. Long story short, Ratchet came to my school to, to like DJ a party. And I mean, you know everything about relationships. We just built a friendship. And by me just being a business major for real, with him doing what he doing in the club, like we kind of just, our skill sets work together. You know what I mean? So it went from me just being a good friend and putting him on the gigs to like, like bro, like you should take this serious and, and do this, bro. I mean, we just been taking off ever since for real. So I want to more not more serious like we're not serious but um how the fuck did you manage to manage dj durant because is it durant in the system yeah 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 so facts, i, I thought like kenan managed yeah 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 facts him. yeah so yeah durant definitely like he still get down with the system you feel me but it was just one of the things like me and durant actually knew each other when we was younger right, right. so i mean he saw what i was doing with ratchet and then i'm just a person as far as connections like I'm gonna look out for mine before anybody else. You right. feel me? So it was times where Ratchet couldn't do events, but I just had a lot of events that I was hit, getting hit for, and now I hit him. Like, bro, you trying DJ? Like, I don't even want no cut. You feel me? It's just like, you trying DJ? I got you. And then it just was like, bro, let me help you build what you trying to build. Right. You feel me? Like, because I always had a good sense of the behind the scenes, how to network, how to talk to certain people, how to get my foot in the door. So it really was just that, like, bro, like, Help me get the way I'm trying to get to for real. So, yeah, bro. From there, it just been like, all right, do what you did for Ratchet, but for me, I mean, we two different people. We in two different systems. Like, 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 help me get the way I'm trying to get. So we still building. Nah, that's lit, man. So, first of all, I ain't gonna lie. I know who uh, Fat Trail is. Right. But I think I heard of uh, DJ Ratchet, but I'm not really too sure. Yeah, yeah. So Ratchet more like Ratchet definitely more DC based. You know what I mean? Like so, so Ratchet. Is around our age, you feel me? But uh, he started DJing when he was like 16. Um, so, like, yo, just DJ in DC probably every night. So, any club you can think of, he DJ there or have DJ in it right. in the city, you feel me? And then from there, he picked up his theme on the, on the college scene and like doing homecomings, you feel me? Doing different shows and things like that on the college scene. So, I definitely gotta get my foot in the door in DC, but I mean, niggas is weird though. Like, yeah, but that's slight for you though, bro. That's, niggas, come on, now. I, I mean, I hosted in DC, of course, but I yeah, just feel yeah. like niggas in DC. I didn't had a couple, like a couple, interactions or like words, not really real words, but yeah. just with a couple people. They just weird, like yeah, niggas yeah, in DC, it's, like it's different. It's like a different type of place. They think they're like not above anybody, but yeah, yeah, yeah. they feel it's like. Yeah. They stars when I'm like, nigga, y'all regular. Like, yeah, fact, fact. Like, I had to get used to that, bro. I had to get used to that shit because, like, it's funny, bro. You you already know how it is coming from Baltimore. Like, when I went to school, all my friends were from D.C. and shit. Like, I really kind of went to school with the mentality, like, fuck D.C. Like, plus, like, it's definitely that pride. You feel me? D.C., like, 
for example, all my men, Redskins fans, you feel me? Redskins really been trash, like, especially like back when we was in college, like, when I tell you they win a game, niggas act like they won a Super Bowl, but like that's just how <laughs> niggas they used see. To shit. Yeah, you hear me, but that's how they all about their stuff though. I respect it like but you you would definitely shut that scene down. Uh-huh. It's just Baltimore, DC, we party different. We just we just different, you feel me? Like no, I, I still be trying to get to get a get a hold of like the difference. Like it's definitely I, I think the party scene in Baltimore is, is lit, believe it or not. Like yeah. I understand it's a small city, but I think a lot of people in the city take it take it for granted because yeah, I've, I've been to a lot of cities and i think the party scene in baltimore is is, is one of the top 100 i ain't gonna say top yeah, 10 or yeah, nothing yeah, fact. but i'm gonna say top yeah, 100. it depends on what you're looking for bro and that's what I, I like about when i be hosting like here especially because like it's more natural fun here you feel me like it ain't all about the bread the design of the pop 100 bottles like a nigga come in a club and pop some bullshit and mm-hmm. and have fun with all 10 of his men like whereas though you feel me? Just in a, in a social media age, that shit might not look all of that. Where you're not popping ten bottles, you're not super flashy, but like Baltimore people go and have fun. Like nah, no matter what, like it always feel like a house party or something. Like. So what the fuck even made you stop wanting to host though? Because of the well, you said you did the events in college. Yeah, and yeah, it was that, bro. But it, it's it's like the the feeling, bro. Like I mean, I you know, you feel yeah. me? You know, like the feeling you get when people react to you. So like growing up, like. Even now, like, I just, I'm a jokester, you feel me? I've always been a funny guy, so, like, I just always like that high you get when niggas laugh or like what you said, you feel right. me? So, I'm like, all right, shit. That like, definitely feel good. Yeah, man. dude. He fucking with me, yo. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like, so, like, to get that shit on a higher level, like, people come to a party, people come to the club, people come to an event to have a good time. You feel right. me? That's, they spending their money to have a good time. So, I always look at it like you're trying to sell a good time, you feel mm-hmm. me? How can I enhance that? You feel me? So is it that Shorty might be shy, but she really want to cut loose and shake her ass a little bit? All right, I'm going to bring that up out of you. You feel me? Your homeboy, really a hood nigga, but deep down, he want to sing boot up. Yeah, he want to He want to do that, though. Nigga, so you like, know damn well you want to sing this you song. Hear me? You like, you're not it. too cool, my nigga. <laughs> so, boy, it's really that feeling like I help give that experience. You mm-hmm. feel me? It's all about the experience. So, like. Bro, just, you know what I'm saying? Just watching niggas like you, like, you feel me? Ratchet is one of my favorite hosts. Like, I love when your host, when he DJ, like, just people that can connect to the crowd, bro. Like, that shit, I, I just wanted that high, that euphoria on a regular basis. Right, so how you think it's going? So, four or five months, right? Yeah, yeah. How you think it's going so far, though? Bro, it's going. How the people? Like, how are, like, the other hosts, the other DJs, like, the promoters? Yeah, bro, it's, I mean, it's, it's interesting. You feel me? Like, getting into it, you really understand that this shit really about connections but talent gonna speak you feel me so like um i mean i've been blessed to have people fuck with me you feel me you definitely been showing love from the jump like you know what i'm saying different people you feel me lunch table like different people definitely been showing me love but like at the end of the day you gotta produce and build build a relationship like so i mean people been fucking with me bro like i definitely been hosting a lot more than i thought i would at this point like if right. i if, at the beginning i was like how often you think you'll be hosting at four or five months I probably say like I hope I can get on something once a week or once every two weeks, but like I've been hosting like three, four nights a week. It's crazy looking back to on it, bro. Because like when I first started hosting, like I would host like every day. Yeah. Like, but it's like I went from hosting every day for like fifty dollars. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes yeah. for free. And it's like at that time, it's like yo. I need my time and my energy, bro. Right. Like, like yeah. I'm good. Like, not saying you shouldn't do it, but it's yeah. just you see that you see the difference. Like, you just see the the, the trans transformation. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it's like I went from like every day to like, man, I'm good with like two parties a week if it's the right yeah, party. Nah, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, no, nah, I definitely understand that. But the thing about host is they want you to do so much. They want you to be the promoter. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It ain't really about who's good on the mic anymore because yeah. it's like who can bring out the more most people. Yeah, yeah. Because these promoters. I'm sorry, but niggas just bullshit. Like yeah, niggas ain't yeah, bringing yeah. out nobody. Want the, the yeah. DJ to bring out niggas. They want the host to bring out niggas. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny though you say that shit though, cause like for me, this the way I look at it, right? I'd be like, all right, I'm in a city that's Baltimore, really a college town. You feel me? Like so, you got you more think so? Like, yeah, bro, it is. Bro. Yeah, well, I like, can get that. Cause okay, if you if you, if you think about how the shit break broke down, right? Like as far as like urban culture, our shit is surrounded by what. You feel me? 92Q, DTLR, on a on a corporate level. You mm-hmm. feel me? All they shit, most of they shit is driven by the streets or the cops. You feel me? So you got 
You feel me? A lot of shit being pushed on colleges. So like, I don't even know the last time I seen Nancy Cute. I know fucking yeah, college. Yeah, real. That's real. That's yeah. real. But like, even like the people like yourself. You feel me? Flow. Y'all two real notable people. You feel me? Like niggas that went to like schools in Baltimore, shit like that. So I be looking at it like I don't have that backing. You feel me? Like. I don't have that backing of like I was able to come up in a college so niggas knew me at school like right. you feel me niggas knew me coming to homecoming shit like that so it's like all right how do I I gotta work double hard so it'd be crazy because sometimes I'd be thinking like yeah talent don't matter but I'm like fuck that talent gonna matter because I'm gonna show talent so yeah. like now it'd be shit like you feel me I really be looking at my name on flyers and I'd be like damn like I'm the only nigga that that didn't have that stimulus package so to say not to say that that's gonna put you there automatically but I didn't like I really be like all right. It's three hosts on head. Like the one nigga didn't. One nigga not from here. It's three DJ. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So like that be like my little motivation. Like no, I'm definitely. still on the same events. Like I'm still. You feel me? And I'm still just trying to keep building, bro. And keep learning. Like it's so many little nuances to this shit, man. Like that I be saying. Like you do what other niggas do to. You feel me? To get people going or whatever. Like bro. Like at the end of the day, I just gotta be patient because I be like, it really is only five months. You feel me? Like no, that's definitely. not no time. Like I used to think that like when I um. When I first like started hosting, because even with me, bro, like when I came into the game, I think I I jumped straight into the concert uh, step shows and things like tough. that. Yeah, I wasn't really tough. doing the clubs, so like when I tried to get into the club scene, I had Kenan, right? Yeah. So it was like Kenan been doing this for, sheesh, I want to say nine, ten years. You get know what I'm saying? Like, time yeah. So it's like when I first came into the game, my like, niggas ain't about to book me over Kenan, right. and then like. I just was fortunate to be around these people, you know what I'm saying? So I was able to get gigs, and then I grew, and I I learned from a lot of people, and it was like, I got good, good overnight type thing. It just was something that was in me, so it was like, I started getting these gigs in the city, but it really, the money ain't, I don't know, like, if you love it, you know what I'm saying? Do it, but it ain't really what niggas expect, and it's, it's crazy to hear people like you say, like, they look up to me in that way, and I'm like, it really is a, is a, um, a humbling process, because it's like, Damn, the fact that somebody say, yo, like, you're really good. Or I think you're better than whoever. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, it's right, like, right, right. damn, I'm still looking at myself like, I got to work harder. I got to yeah, get better. Fact, so like, you never know who's looking at you for real. Like, bro, already, like, people, I know I know when people see this shit or whatever, like, people not really going to know that, like, I really only been doing this for a few months. But, bro, I've had numerous people hit me up like, oh, can you show me how I host? Like, you show me how I talk to Mike. Like, shit like that is inspiring, you feel me? No, like, definitely. To, like, hear people like, I mean, your team going to support you. Your, your main friends going to support you. But, like. Random people, bro, like, every time I host, I had somebody come up to me, like, bro, I just want you to know, like, you killing this shit, like, that shit keep you going, because, like, I can only imagine, bro, like, for you to do what you do, like, consistently on a weekly basis, like, I'm pretty sure it'd be times where you'd be like, man, I don't even feel like doing this shit, or to, like, to manufacture the energy, you feel me, at the end of the day, you seeing the same people, same after man. a while, it's really, you hear the set, you already know what's coming next, like, like, I, like, I'm really understanding that shit now that I'm doing it. Like, before when I would just see you, I'm like, damn, this shit is magic. Like, you feel me? Like, but now really being in it and saying, like, so I can understand that the while how, like, the shit can just, you feel me, get to be, like, you know what I mean? Just the same. So like, when it comes to hosting, like, what's, like, your, um, like, what do you want to do overall? What's your overall goal? Yeah, in fact, so, bro, like, my overall goal is, is to really just be, like, a, a personality. So, like, the two people that I... I, well, it's really three people now that I look up to heavily in this shit as far as celebrities. Mm-hmm. Bro, my number one media personality is Joe Budden. Like, That's my number one. Bro, for real? Nah, did that. That's crazy nah, as shit. Ass, you watch the podcast? Yeah, did that. I watch his podcast and um the pull-up. Yeah, pull-up. Like, if, if you look at all my shit, my shit is kind of like, it, it's kind of inspired shit. by Joe. Like, I yeah. fuck with Joe because Joe is one of the people that that got it. Yeah. And like, even with the, um, the complex movie, you know what I'm saying? Everyday Struggle, I feel like he knew he fucked up. Yeah, like, yeah facts. Cause he been he been doing it on his own. So I think they might have offered him a couple of dollars if it's on a bigger platform. Yeah, facts. <laughs> Why not? But like Charlemagne is dope. Don't get me twit. Don't get it wrong. But Joe, I feel like Joe is more self made. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah, it is. So it's like, I why why won't you look up to that? And another right. the reason because um like I think we were talking about it earlier like the whole DTL radio thing with the freestyles, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, when I created the freestyles, a lot of people don't know that I created that. They didn't right. just give me that. I right, created right, that from right. the ground up. I had me and my friend Keith come to shoot it for free. Niggas weren't getting paid nothing, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. And when it got hot, they put it on that YouTube. Yeah. And I felt like I lost something. Right. But as a creator, like, they only did it, I understand now, they only did it to, to grow it. And of course, grow that brand, because that's, right. it, it, it's business, you it's know what I'm saying? It's business, bro, come right. on. Right, but I understand that now, so it's like, 
now I started to feel like I lost something. It's like I gained something now because just like I created that, yeah. I'm gonna create something, something else. else. Something and that's else. what I that's what I learned from Joe. For yeah, real. facts. So like, that, that's he say that shit though. He say that shit like create he got shit in the th- right. He got stuff in the tank. He got stuff, and best believe like, bro, I got stuff in the tank for when I get there. Like that's my goal. Like my goal is to like. I mean, the thing is, we we look at other people's paths and try to create ours, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I really don't know what path God gonna take me on. You feel me? But in my mind, it's like, all right, boom, club hosting. I want to be able to do festivals, concerts, shit like that. But I also want to get on the radio because that's when I really can show my personality. Like, no, you only can show your personality so much in hosting. You feel me? Because it's for the crowd. You bro, feel me? I ain't even lie. Like, yeah, it's cool to get on the radio, and I ain't on the biggest radio stations. But bro, I tell niggas all the time it. It's easy as just taking that one step forward, bro. If you gotta get a, a recorder, you can go on Amazon right now, right? We, we look up a uh, voice recorder. You use the voice recorder, set your phone on the tripod, yeah, and record, you get what I'm saying, while you talking. And just, just talk about different topics, right? Yeah. Now, granted, you might not be reaching terrestrial standards, yeah, yeah, right? Well, you might not be reaching DTLR standards, but what happens is you got your audience. Yep. Now your audience see it, and now you're practicing, and now when it's time for you to get on the radio station, you already prepared because you've been doing it for yourself. Yeah, like fact, a lot of people real. say, I want to do this. Like for example, like um, I got to cut off for the homeless, right? A lot of people say, I want to give back, right? Right. But bro, giving back a dollar is giving back. Yeah, fact. Like you don't have to be a millionaire to, to give back. Fact. Can, like I, I had an honest royalty scholarship that I, at Northwestern before they shut down, where I gave a, a thousand dollars. Yeah. And honestly. My friends and my supporters helped me raise that thousand dollars. I put, right. I made a GoFundMe link, put it on Instagram, and niggas raised a thousand dollars, and I gave yeah. it to somebody to Support. go to college. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's giving back. I'm not yeah. famous. I'm not rich yet. Yeah. So it's like, if you want to do radio, bro, I tell people all the time, like, just put that one foot forward, Facts. bro. Just be consistent. Like, Facts. make your own radio station. Even what we doing, bro? Right. Anybody, this ain't no complex or nothing. Like, yeah, I'm, yeah. Facts. Facts. I got my laptop. I got this fucking mic that I got from Micro Center. But we gonna make it work. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? No question. Yeah, and that shit all in the plan, bro. My shit just really be like, I'm not trying to jump the gun. You feel me? Like, why? Wow, what's jumping the gun? I mean, not jump the gun, but like, and I and I'm I'm definitely a proponent for like being able to do multiple things at one time. Don't get mm-hmm. me wrong, but I'm like, I'm really like trying to build things no, in this lane too. You just but whole I'm thing. still planning though. You see, what I'm saying like I'm still planning. Like we talked about some other stuff earlier. Like I definitely got stuff on the tuck, but like. I'm trying to build that core support. You feel me? So when I make that next move, I got people that's going to I get it. Yeah, now it makes fact. sense. So you want to just take advantage of this whole shit. Yeah. Take advantage of the club. What are you doing to take advantage of the club shit? Bro, like, well, and it's funny you said this to me, but I had already been thinking about this, like, just trying to make this shit an experience. So, like, like, all right, I know that I'm helping people have a good time when I'm hosting. You feel me? But I want to, like, make sure. So I want to talk to you. You feel me? I want to connect with you. Like, Oh, all right, well, I only see you here a couple of times. Like, why you don't come up more often? I'm like, well, I'm doing this event. You should come to this, like, making connections, like, you know what I mean? Meeting new people, bro, and really, like, just soaking it all in and just and just learning from it right now. Um, and also trying to brand myself, you mm-hmm. feel me? So I wear a lot of me, you feel me? Like, my man made my tunnel vision jackets, you feel me? Slick did the headbands, you feel me? Like, really just branding, like, just trying to make the name more regular, you feel me? Like it's starting to get to a point where So people, people know who you are. Yeah, facts. Like people calling me tunnel vision more than they call me my regular my name, you feel right. me? So like I mean I and that's that's what I wanted to get. From. I like I, I like your name though. Bro, I, like, I keep hearing that though. Like honestly I feel like you feel we're gonna go with tunnel vision because it's we working, but yeah. I think I feel like the name would be yeah, 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 lit. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie, I feel yeah. like that would be lit. Like yeah. Jay is my name. Jay Hill like that's yeah. my name. I feel yeah. like your name would be lit. But um yeah. I said it to say like all right even with hosting, right? So, um, Kanan, right? So, like, Kanan is my dog. And a lot of things, like, Kanan is, like, I ain't gonna say a marketing genius, but he almost, you know what I'm saying? Like, he almost a marketing yeah, genius. The nigga, yeah. when he kind of marketing, that nigga lit. So, it's like, crazy. yeah. So, when I, um, I remember it was a summer when they was doing a sunny day party and the nigga had church fans with his logo on it that said the Kanan system. Crazy. That is an experience because, so, like, you know, you got, I was about to say what I, my whole point of it is don't be too selfish. So right. you see how you got your jacket, you got your headband, yeah. right? Even with me, right? I just started, you see me with the Polaroids. Yeah. Now I'm taking a picture with the girl, have them sign their Instagram. That way we take a picture. She got a picture, I put it on Instagram, on my story, whatever. She's like, oh, Tough. I had fun, you know what I'm saying? Tough. You want to have them have a different experience. Tough. So when Kanan did that at the sunny day party, I'm hot. 
it's hot, you feel me? Right. You still branding yourself. Oh, this nigga Keenan, the one that got me the fan. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's so real. you want to be innovative in a way that even if, because innovation is like creating something new that nobody done, right? right. But however, everything that that people creating has been re- recreated in some facts, form facts, of way. Right. You know what I'm saying? So if you can recreate something in a in its own special form, so people know it's tunnel vision. I feel like. That'd be lit. Yeah, I ain't buying anything about that. You like, got like yeah. that's, the, that's the things that we gotta think about because such a stuff apart. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Bro. I had to. I remember I had to take host off of my Instagram name because like, um, I, yeah, I'm a celebrity host, but I'm an entertainer. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's the whole yeah. point of it. So you want to be able to entertain your crowd at a cost where it's though like, damn, like I really had fun. Yeah. And like, right. who I look at like that just as an entertainer standpoint is Quicksilver. Right. Like Quicksilver because he's a DJ he can handle like he really puts on a show. Right. And that's what you gotta be able to do just as a host and just as a personality period. Right, man. right. So I mean you I mean you heard me host a few times now. Like what kind of like pointers you would give me or what you what's your feedback like? I don't never give niggas pointers bro. Uh-huh. And, and I'ma tell you why though. Because you gotta understand I'm just I say I'm a little different because yo when I was coming up, niggas tried to give me pointers and things like that. And it's nothing wrong with advice. Right, yeah, fact, fact, it's nothing fact. wrong with advice. But what I've learned is what somebody with uh, the next host might not like, my crowd might, might like. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I remember when I came up, like, when I first started hosting, I ain't gonna lie, I was some wild nigga. And sometimes I'm still a little wild. I would say, like, the wildest shit, yeah. right? Um, little shit, like, just wild shit to girls, right? right? But girls would love it. But other niggas would be like, yo, that's some wild shit, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, if I listen yeah, to them, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's taking away from who I am. Yeah, so that, But to get into what I was saying was, I don't really give niggas pointers on their hosting because the pointers that I might not like or I might say you shouldn't do be the same pointers that your crowd yeah, love crowd. about you, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, so like, I'm not crowd. about to be like, yo, don't do this. The only thing I'm going to say is just make sure you understand the crowd, what you do. Like, yeah, I yeah. love the fact that you, when I get there at 11 or whatever, I tell them I get there at 11.30, you already turned, you know what right, I'm saying? Yeah. That's what's going to set you apart. What's, what's going to happen is, niggas going to look at a nigga like me like, oh, he must think he too Hollywood. Yeah, right, you know what right, I'm right, saying? Right. Nah, I'm going to get this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nah, Tone yeah. vision. So like, and I always tell niggas like, people take it wrong. Like, I tell niggas like, yo, I don't say that I don't have competition because I think I'm better than you. Right. It just, whatever is for me is going to be for me. Whatever right. is going to be for you, for you, it's for you. So if you come to Euphoria and you end up fucking taking my spot right. that was meant for you you right, know what i'm right, saying right. Like, so that's it ain't real. the fact that there's no competition i'm not better than nobody right. it's just ain't no competition and, and you don't never understand a nigga like until you really get a chance to learn him and talk to him because like you feel me the only thing i knew about you was you feel me you was a popular host like you was a popular figure in the city you feel me so like when i first met you i thought you was hollywood but i like i've had a chance to get to know you feel me we had conversation shit i understand like Nigga been in this shit, you feel mm-hmm. me? I've been doing this, like, it's just different now. Like, and I understand now that I'm doing it, bro, because, like, I'm still fresh, but I be turning down shit, too. Like, certain shit, like, if it's not my environment, you feel me? Or I feel like it's not worth the time that I'm ready to put into it, or, you feel me, the relationship. Like, I'm not going to do it either. Like, so I really understand, you feel me? Like, I really get it now. No, nah, definitely, um, man. Like, but, no, nah, one thing I just say, bro, be consistent. One of the hardest things is have patience. When you know you good at something, bro. That's like the hardest thing bro, to have people. It's so hard, bro. Yeah. It's so hard. Like, I don't know if it's, I mean, I was just talking to one of my best friends, Rashawn, about this earlier. Like, I'm like, yo, I don't know if it's social media or just the pressure we put on ourselves as millennials. Like, I look at a nigga like, no, nah, I feel like I'm supposed to be doing this. You feel me? I, like, I know my talent level. Like, I know what I can do. So why I'm not doing this? But like, that's, that's the worst thing patience. you can do. Yeah. yeah. You gotta be, like, never compare yourself to like the next man. However, you can use it as motivation, like, yeah, 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 nigga, I tell niggas all the time, like, I don't care how niggas take it, like, like, flex it, right? Yeah. When I came into detail on radio, like, to me, he was the hottest dude, like, right. he was the, the, the popular face, I'm like, right. man, this nigga lit, I'm going to detail on radio, and I want his spot, and it, yeah, it, ain't, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't like I got anything against him, right. it's just the fact that that's who I look up to, so right. that's what I'm going at, right. like, uh, Motherfucking um, Terrence J, you feel right. me? Ain't 106 Park. Like, I want to be on 106 Park, right. so I got to take your job. It ain't that I don't like you or anything right. like that. It's just like, if anything, that's a that's an honor. No, like, that's you know real. what I'm saying? Like, that's real. Like, and you you know, like, we talk, like, you my guy, you feel me? But when I'm on before you, I I want you to know I'm trying to burn yeah, your ass up. Of course. So when you get on, you got to hit another level. Like, that's every week. Like, I'm, I'm when I get on the mic, I'm like this. When Jay get on this motherfucker, he better get on here hot. Yeah, because if like, not, people yeah, are not, people going to know the difference. Yeah, that's <laughs> real. Like, and that's, that's just real. That's this competition. That's love, though. That's, that's not no malice. Like, that's just real nigga yeah, shit, period. Yeah, Honestly, facts. like, if, if anybody take it to be anything else, then niggas just got, like, 
grow some balls and get rid of that yeah, titties. Like it's man. just like I don't know, man. Like I don't ever take nothing personal. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, my only advice is, bro, keep being consistent, bro. Keep being able to learn, like, and and just the bit the be able to say, like, yo, is there anything that you would say? Yeah. The, the fact that you're open for that, because a lot yeah. of niggas, you you tell them something, they don't want to hear. Yeah. Fact. And and even still, bro, like. Cause there's been times where like Flo told me shit and I'd be like, bro, I'm doing my way. Nothing against Flo, cause Flo right. know what he's doing, but right. what work for Flo, work, work for Flo. Flo. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah. and I'm not like I'm not taking nothing away from his advice, yeah. but it's like I'm me. Right. So like always remain you, that yeah. genuine you. You know what I'm saying? No question. No yeah, question. but yeah, I had to learn that. I had to learn that, cause like everybody gonna wanna put a piece in you. You feel me? Everybody gonna wanna give you some advice. Some of it might be genuine. Some of it might be whatever. You feel me? But like I definitely had to learn how to decipher through that. Like. All right, cool. Like, all right, my G. Like, that might work for you. You feel me? But watch what I'm about to do with this. You feel right. me? Matter of fact, I just had that happen to me the other day. Like, and it wasn't. It was no ill will. It's just like I just want you to show. This is how I flow. Like, and this is how I get the crowd to react. You feel me? But I want to ask you, like, how did like being a Q? You feel me? I mean, you 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 in the fright that you in? No, you feel me? But mm-hmm. like, how did being a Q enhance or what did it do for? What you doing? Because one thing I haven't tackled into is like my frat, like Me either. and using that crazy. Me either. I, yeah, that's our that's our biggest fuck up, and and I only say that, and I say ours because I don't really yeah. utilize it. Yeah. But I say ours because hosting anything, life in general, careers is about networking, right? Yeah. So that's a untapped market where it's though is unlimited networking. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? That's real. It's just I don't know. Like what I will say is because I'm not about to act like it hasn't. When I first started hosting, it was that was the tool, the key right. to get me in the club. Like I remember um Thomas and uh Dwayne like hosting that party in College Park at the uh I don't know, some some shit, turtle, something I don't know what it was, but I'm like, yo, Dwayne I wanna host, Thomas I wanna host, Thomas like, yo, get the mic. Right. I never touched the mic before, so I'm like, alright, fuck it. So that did, they was my frat brothers. Yeah, yeah, fact, but fact. I haven't really tapped into it. Because even now, like when I'm hosting step shows and things, I want to be completely unbiased. Yeah, yeah, so it's yeah. Like, same, 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 same. It's yeah. like, but that's what we should do. Like, honestly, because it's networking. Right, it is. It is. Like, and like, funny enough, like one of your frat brothers gave me my first full hosting. Like, 100 called me, hit me one day. Like, I did a Q party with him and McDaniel, bro. And I, like, I turned up, but that was my first time hosting mm-hmm. a full, like, you know, I mean, you didn't give me the mic for 10 minutes here and there, shit yeah. like that. But they're like, so I definitely need to tap into that. But I also, like, I think the reason why I didn't is because I don't want to be seen as like the cat book. Exactly. Yeah, I get it. Like, but at the same time, I I do get it. But at the same time, bro, it's networking. So even as so many people we network with, like we can network in in our fraternity, and it still don't have to be the cat or the cute because a lot of my frat brothers now or the older ones. They got the same mentality as me. They still get money. You know what I'm saying? They still throwing parties. So it's like we gotta tap into that. But um. It's just networks because even with the fraternity thing, like people think just because we're in the same fraternity mean we all friends, nigga. Yeah, no, yeah, my nah, friend's yeah. my friend. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like, no shit. I can. I'm sorry, but I can meet a nigga and I, I love a nigga to death, and I can see somebody in my, my frat and not so much. Not saying right. I would want something to happen to him, but yeah, yeah, I'm gonna look out for my friend because yeah. we got that bond. That's what people don't understand when they're not in this shit. Like, that's what they don't understand. Like, we have a, a common understanding because of what we went through. You feel me? And and what we understand about what our founders want to do, et cetera, et cetera. But, like, bro, my man is my man. Like, you feel me? My two, my two best friends, my nigga Jelly, you're not Greek, you're not nothing. You feel me? My other best friend, nigga Rusty, he a Q. You feel me? Like, and it's some it's noobs that I'm tight with, but it's some noobs that I don't rock with, they don't rock with. Yeah, me. Like, like, you feel me? Yeah, like, at the end of the day, like, I be saying all the time, like, there's no other situation in life that you can put 10, 15, 20 men in the room and expect all of them to be best friends. So why do you expect us all to be best friends? Yeah. Like, we're going to have all differences. But I'm gonna always have your back. You feel me? Like, nah, definitely. Yeah. I definitely say tap into that though. Like, just, just something. I think I should have did or I could do better. So I would definitely tell you tap into that. Yeah, though. I definitely would. Yeah, I mean, all, all angles. You feel me? I'm, I'm gonna use all angles. It's just, it's, it's, it's still fresh. You know how it is or something fresh, bro. I wish you the best of luck. I feel like you, bro. It's gonna be lit. I feel like I really think. I don't know, like, cause I never really said this no way, but I really think you gonna skip a lot of. The things I had to deal with, yeah. Cause I feel like the talent is there, and I heard you on the mic. I just gave you mad respect. Fuck the interview, like yeah. some real shit. Like, I appreciate like it. you, you are good. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I appreciate so it. like, just be consistent, bro. Yeah. And your time gonna come. Like, I know it sounds cliche, but try, like, I don't think nobody. Ever, I don't really. I never said that to nobody. Yeah. I swear, like, 
Bro, that's love, like, bro. Sorry, no, I said, I just feel like it's going to be lit, you know? And then yeah. you're genuine, you dope. You yeah, be, bro. Man. We're going to keep pushing, bro. But, I'm yeah, Friday, when you get there on Friday, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm at that next, so yeah. I'm coming. Like, we, man, man, that's it, man. I feel yeah. like that was good. Yeah. Make sure you tell them where to follow you. Yo, look, man. Follow me on. I really only use Instagram. Follow me on Instagram at Tunnel Vision. T U N N E L V I S I O N N underscore. That's two N's and an underscore. Um, you feel me? I go by Tunnel Vision, aka your girl's favorite host. See me on Fridays, opening up for my brother right here, Jay Hill at Euphoria. And then everywhere else, man, you will see me. I'm out here. We're going to get him downtown, too, man. Club yeah, downtown. Yeah, hey, get Saturday. me there. Listen, y'all know what I do, man. If you don't know yet, then come see me. Wherever I need to be, I'm going to be there for real.